Good morning, Searcy High School. Let's get into these sports updates before we hit this well-needed and most importantly, well-deserved Christmas break. Starting off in local sports, the Searcy Lions boys and girls basketball teams have a game tomorrow where the girls will travel to Cabot to take on the Panthers, while the boys will take on the Newport Greyhounds here at the high school. The boys look to improve their record from 7-6 to 8-6 before the break, with the girls looking to do the same to improve their record from 7-4 to 8-4 with a win against the Panthers. The Searcy Lions Mario Kart team for eSports will be competing for the Arkansas State Championship tomorrow as they travel to Conway to take on Rogers where they hope to go completely undefeated for the season and come home as state champions. They were in the same position last year where they fell just short to Fort Smith losing the match 3-1. We were able to catch an interview with Mario Kart player and sophomore Jordan Jones to see how he and the team have prepared for the big game. You know, it was, I think it was pretty expected this year. All the games that we played, we had we built a really good chemistry with each other. So every night we would probably get on and practice like two or three hours. Everybody's, you know, just really ready for state. And we have a, we all really think that we have a good chance of winning it this year. Now let's go into some national news. Where in the World Cup semifinals are going on, where we get to see who goes to the 2022 FIFA World Cup finals. Later today at 1 p.m., we will see Morocco go up against France to see who will advance to the big game. So make sure to check up on the scores throughout the day. In the MLB, many free agent signings have been happening recently, including AL home run king and MVP outfielder Aaron Judge signing a nine-year, $360 million contract with the Yankees, Cy Young Award winner and future Hall of Famer Justin Verlander signing a two-year, $86 million deal where he will play in the Queens for the New York Mets, and finally, all-star shortstop Trey Turner signs an 11-year, $300 million deal with the reigning NL champions, Philadelphia Phillies. With it only being December, though, there is still plenty of time for MLB teams to make a big splash in free agency before spring training starts in February. In college football, bowl games will continue to be played throughout the coming weeks, with the more anticipated ones being the Peach Bowl, where we see the number four Ohio State Buckeyes take on the number one seeded Georgia Bulldogs, and the Fiesta Bowl, where we see the number three ranked TCU Horned Frogs take on the number two ranked Michigan Wolverines. The winner of these two bowl games will meet up on January 9th at SoFi Stadium to play in the 2023 National Championship game. Well, Cersei, that's all the sports updates I have for you this semester. I hope everyone makes the most of their Christmas break, and we can't wait to see you guys here back in January. Now back to the news desk with Lexi and Nevaeh.